The Disability and Business Technical Assistance Centers welcome you to the Disability Law Lowdown ASL podcast series. Air Carrier Access Act. Hello, and welcome to the Disability Law Lowdown ASL podcast. My name is Lori Mallory. and I am one of your hosts for this podcast. Today we will be talking about the Air Carrier Access Act, ACAA. The Air Carrier Access Act was passed in 1986. New regulations went into effect on May 13th 2009. The purpose of these regulations is to carry out the ACAA. Both U.S. and foreign air carriers are prohibited from discriminating against passengers on the basis of disability. Both U.S. and foreign air carriers are required to make aircraft, other facilities, and services accessible. Air carriers also must take steps to accommodate passengers who have a disability. So what does this mean for the deaf and hard of hearing community? Several parts of the new regulations affect our community, and I'm going to go through a few of those today. Airlines can require passengers with disabilities to provide up to 48 hours advance notice. And you know that normally you need to arrive at the airport about an hour ahead to check your bags and so forth. Of course, that time depends on your area. Some places require an hour, some places require an hour and a half. If you need certain services or accommodations, you need to add an hour to that check-in time. That extra time is needed to set up specific accommodations. The two situations that might involve individuals who are deaf or hard of hearing are if you're traveling with a service animal or if a passenger has both severe hearing and vision impairments. If you bring a service animal, airports are required to provide relief areas for service animals. An air carrier may not require a passenger with a disability to travel with another person or a personal or safety assistant. But there is an exception that states that it is all right for the airline to require that a safety assistant or other person travel with a passenger who has both severe hearing and severe vision impairments, and if the passenger cannot establish some means of communication with carrier personnel that is adequate. They may require someone to travel with the individual to help with communicating the safety briefing that must be given to passengers. 
the passenger must also be able to evacuate the plane in an emergency. The airline may require such passengers who want to travel without a safety assistant to notify the airline at least 48 hours in advance to provide this explanation. Air carriers are not allowed to impose special charges on passengers with a disability for providing services or accommodation required by the ACAA. Want to know more? I hope you enjoyed watching this ASL podcast. You can subscribe to the podcast so you never miss an episode. You can subscribe for free through iTunes or by going to asl.disabilitylawlowdown.com The Disability Law Lowdown is sponsored by the Disability and Business Technical Assistance Centers, or DIPTAC, a network of 10 ADA centers around the country. The ADA centers provide training and technical assistance on the Americans with Disabilities Act and other disability-related laws. If you have questions or would like more information, you can call us at 1-800-949-1800. That's voice or TTY. The ADA centers are supported by a grant from NIDER. Host, Lori Mallory. Script writer, Jackie Brennan. Editor and videographer, Beth Case. Sponsored by the ILRU Southwest Rocky Mountain and Great Lakes Dib Tech Centers and produced by Decker Labs.